And I am back, and I have decided to play Wolfenstein Young Blood. <coughs> the reason being because I played a, a, a little bit of the SpongeBob game, and it's I don't really think it's suitable uh, for these sort of format because, well, yeah. Anyway, uh, no, it's not suitable. But. Um, Okay, don't care. Um, so I thought I'd play this instead. Um, <coughs> did you actually? Did you guys know this was a, almost entirely an online only game? I didn't know that until I tried playing it. Uh, much to my surprise. Oh, look, is he a communist? I swear, I saw. I swear. Uh, no, uh, can't see. Oh, he's certainly Russian. Oh, yeah, the thing there. Um, and so I thought I'd give this a crack uh, as, as something different for now but uh, yes so you are constantly joined by an AI companion now we all know how fun it is to play a game with an oh look he is a communist now we all know how fun it is to play with an AI companion don't we boys and girls why is there a lens flare persistent lens flare on me that's annoying um, and the banter they have is absolutely mind numbingly stupid you actually want to shoot yourself in the face when you hear it. Um, yeah, so there's that. Um, the the combat uh, doesn't seem to be too bad so far. Yeah, we'll give that a go. Combat doesn't seem to be too bad so far. It does seem to be a fair bit uh, very similar to To the last Wolfenstein game I played, but you know what can you do? It seems like they took a lot, lot of ideas from that game and used it in this game. But anyway, um, and yes, I haven't played a great deal of it so far. I've only played maybe an hour, and there is this sort of an extensive upgrade system. It's, it's, it's it has like a leveling system now, so yeah, uh, I haven't at all been interested in the story. Uh, I've been mostly just giving over it. Um, it's set in 1980. Well, it's 1980 now, and this started in 1979. Um, and um, you know the the and what, what really pisses me off about this game, well, aside from the obvious fact, like it's online online only, uh, is the fact that it's it's 19, 1980. Okay, now. This game has acted as if te everything in technology and, you know, the sort of aesthetic of the 80s has, has progressed normally. Well, now, when it's quite obvious that Wolfenstein The New Order was, is, is obviously, well, even the Wolfenstein games in general are just an alternative history game. So things don't progress normally along the path of history in those games, well, of course. So why the hell does it act like the 80s were just carrying on like normal in, in this game. It just, it's so stupid. It's such a lazy world building. Oh, God. I don't know. Yeah. It, uh, maybe, maybe I'm just getting old. I don't know. Yeah, and yes, there is a, a f like, and I, I don't know why the Nazis are still here. I mean, we're in Paris now, but... It still seems pretty bloody stupid to me as to why we're still doing this, but... Um, but we are. And you'll be seeing me swap weapons all the freaking time because there is a now an armor system that the enemies have. In, yeah. And you've got to use the right weapon for the right armor. And uh, it's... Yeah, it's it's gonna be bloody tedious to tell you. All right, all right. Um, some of the oh, okay. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ! The hell happened there? Uh, I don't, I don't know if you actually if you can see. Um, uh, there is like white bars next to the enemies. <sighs> Next to the enemy's um, you know, health meter, 
those white bars determine what sort of armor they have and if it's a, a square box it means they have tougher armor and you've got to use the right ammo to get through that armor um, yes and you see that that my my uh, my submachine gun here is not the right gun no this is the right gun for this encounter because uh, oh no no it's now it's, it's now it's, now it's the wrong gun it's the right gun for him it was the wrong gun for the previous dude I just killed them yes uh, uh, it's the right gun for him because he has no armor so yeah isn't that a wonderful wonderful gameplay mechanic hmm having to change weapon every two seconds to make sure you've actually got the ability to kill the enemy you're shooting at hmm really fun yeah, and as I say, there's also an upgrade system which I haven't done much with yet. Yeah. But how can you do? Uh, and like all the same, uh, the same uh, mechanics from the previous games are back. Like you know, throwing throwing items, uh, throwing weapons at the enemy and stuff like this. And <coughs> and you know, there's a hub world which happens to be the Paris catacombs and. Um, the usual stuff and obviously the mechanical enemies are back uh, I still think that was some of the best parts of the last game uh, especially World New Order was the, some of the really interesting enemies and I still think the Nazis should have won but you know here we are alright let's upgrade ourselves to do something Actually, no, I'm going to upgrade off-camera, actually. There's nothing, there's nothing more boring than watching someone just sit on a menu for ages. So, yes. So, uh, this... Can you imagine a Wolfenstein game designed around a co-op, like, mechanic? Like, a really, really distinct co-op mechanic. I can think of nothing worse. Oh, really? Well, I mean, how stupid! And a game that can't, like, that can barely be played offline. You know, it makes no flipping sense. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the hell Bethesda are doing with this. I mean, I don't think the the franchise has much life in it after this game. I think this game's all, this has been out almost twelve months now. I think. Two sixteen. Yeah. Yes, still got cassettes, even though this is a distinctly alternative history and technology apparently progressed as it did normally in this game. Yeah, I mean, I don't understand why the Nazis are still around. Like, it makes no sense. I don't know. It's I, I've, I've sort of stopped caring because, you know, no doubt I wouldn't get any, any succinct, any decent answers to these questions. Oh, dear. I'm just feeling very old these days playing these games. Alright. Now we're looking for time. Time's alright. I've got a couple, a few minutes left, yes. Is that where we're going? No. And these coins are picking up, are used to upgrade your weapons. I do have a silence weapon, I forgot that. God's sake, no. And you. Oh no, it's the wrong weapon, I'm sorry. No. Yes, see, my handgun is, is more suitable against this, this heavily armored soldier than any other weapon. Uh, yeah. Sounds legit, right? You know, I don't, think even, I don't even think my handgun's been upgraded. Yeah. Uh, God's sake. Mm. Yeah, there it is. Ah, uh, flipping out. And there's like a, a, a buffing system. 
that they do to each other, the sisters, I mean. Oh, for God's sake. There we are. And so, like, you know, I'll press a button and she gets a buff for health and she'll do a reciprocal motion and I get a buff for armor or something. Yeah. It's my machine pistol. Look at this. Yeah. Hmm. I upgraded this and didn't do shit. Hmm. I put a suppressor on it, but it didn't seem to do much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the game looks good, but then the, the new Wolfenstein games I thought have always looked have always looked good. You know. If you didn't think I didn't think they looked good, then yeah. I, don't, I don't know what you're looking at. But to me, they always look just fine, especially the um, yeah, the new order. There is this um, capacity to. Oh, he's gone. I don't know why I couldn't throw it in that instance. That was annoying. Um, there is this, this stealth capacity that is, you know, back in this like it was in the other couple of games. I haven't used it much at this point. Cause, you know, I've got a suppressor on my sub on my machine pistol for some reason. All right, uh, let's actually hit our objective now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, the Nazis are the devil, aren't they? Who? Oh. They're still the devil, obviously. Yay, love that. Good to know. Oh, okay, that worked really well. The one hit kill. Okay. Yes, there's also, yeah, let's see now, there's also a shared life system in this game. So, you know, if, if, if one of you die, uh, okay, what is it, what does this dude actually, what's he got on him? Let's see, do we even have the weapons capable of destroying this fellow? Probably not. No, he's gone. No, he's there he is. Uh, can't actually damage him. Uh-huh. Can't damage him either. Ah, uh -huh. well then. Um, as evidenced by the uh, the skull, means I can't actually damage them. Okay. Nope, can't kill him. No, right, let's go. Let's run away from that. Oh, for God's sake. No, wrong gun. Oh, that's silly me. There we go. Oh, wrong gun again. There we go. Whoever thought this would be a fun gameplay mechanic is a complete and utter retard. There's apparently a dodge ability too. But I haven't had any any uh, need to use. Right. Okay, uh, this is where I'll cut it for now, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye for now.